the Ape Man 1080p mini movie projector. We're going to go over its specs, the price point it comes in at, and whether or not it's the right projector for you. So let's get into this review. The thing that kind of pushed me into looking into a movie projector is you could increase the size of your screen by just moving it back, moving it forward. It's portable. You could take it camping with you. You could take it places. So price point. Uh, one of the prices that I was in the ballpark of was around that $100 range. I did not want to spend that $500 to $1,000 range to get those expensive ones. I wanted a decent um, movie projector at a price point around $100. Bucks. You want something that has uh, the autofocus and stuff. Well, not autofocus, but manual focus. So something like this, right? So you're able to rotate this um, from left to right and that will focus your um, image depending on the distance that you have this set at, okay? And then you have your keystone, which is this back uh, uh, rotational device back here. And what that does is it does the up and down movement. So if you have this up, it will angle it so that way your screen gets projected downward or upward depending on how you have this, okay? Another key feature that you want to look into when looking at movie projectors is uh, audio output. That was uh, number one that you want to look into. Um, how you're going to play your movies. So this one in particular has uh, two HDMI pickups. It has an AV uh, setup here. And then you, uh, then you have your micro SD. Um, this AV setup I believe is only for audio, not for picture because it takes the 3.5 millimeter jack into three AV uh, setups. And then you have your USB uh, thumb drive that you could plug into there, which is what I use. Um, and then on the back, you have the old school VGA. No one really has that anymore. And then you have your menu button here. You have your, uh, like your skip through button. Uh, same thing here. These are your volume and your change. Uh, okay to accept and then your power button and your back button there. You have your power setup, which is your typical power cord. Um, and then of course they give you a remote. So you get a remote like this. Okay. When purchasing one of these, that's what you want to look into. Uh, first off, I want to utilize it outdoors. That's the biggest thing. The issue with budget movie projectors is outdoor, uh, I guess, illumination, uh, the luxes that this puts out. I don't think it's true to what it says um, or how they funnel that light. So this one here in particular uh, is actually 4,000 lumens and is supposed to project a 200-inch two, uh, display at 1080p, okay? So given that, this does not operate well in out, the outdoors um, if there's light outside. So for instance, if it's five o'clock in the afternoon, six o'clock, seven o'clock, and the sun's going down, you won't get a good picture, okay? It has to be completely dark for this thing to work. Um, and that was kind of a no-go for me because I want to be able to use this, you know, in those evening times when the sun's going down and you want to play that movie out outdoors, you know, maybe you're saying by a campfire, you know, sun's going down, you want to be able to start that movie right off, you know, while you're cooking or what have you kind of enjoy uh, nature in luxury a little bit. Another thing you want to look out for if you decide to take this and make it mobile is the power setup. So the, uh, this is a mini projector. They have mini projectors that will run off of uh, micro USB. So if that's something you're looking for, which I highly recommend, if you could get a high quality movie projector with the micro USB setup, that's that'd be fabulous because you'd be able to, you know, run it off those 12 volts on your car or, or like have a portable battery setup. Uh, such as a jumper pack or whatever and plug it right on in and uh, get that movie going. Um, I don't know if those are actually out there, but I do know that they make the 12 volt ones 
but as far as the quality i'm not sure if the, they'll produce enough light for those daytime uses okay so when buying a projector of course you're going to need a screen you can't just project this on a wall unless it's white um, you're not going to have a really good resolution with this setup um, when looking into resolution speaking of resolution uh, typically these bulbs have that 50,000 hour lamp life so if they make that sound like it's everything um, don't really pay attention to it because most of them come with that same set uh, but this one says that it's 1080p okay what you want to do is look at the native resolution okay because there's a lot of 1080p's that are 480 by 800 which is definitely a no-go i mean that's going to be a crappy resolution uh, but this one in particular is 1280 by 800 okay and then the contrast ratio um, typically one around this size and this price is going to be that 2000 contrast ratio 2000 to 1. this one is actually uh 3000 to 1 and uh, you could project this at a 4 by 3 or a 16 by 9 uh, ratio and just remember the further away this projector gets the lighter um, the less the less brightness that your uh, image is going to be displayed as a lot of them say about 170 uh, inch display when you pull it back um, this one's actually allowing you to do uh, that 200 inch display okay um, so when reading the amazon v reviews take them with a grain of salt because most people are going to use them indoors and if you're the type that are is trying to get this for an outdoor use um they're not going to give you that information i went out and purchased something like this uh i thought this would be not stretchy so this is real stretchable uh material and it's trans like i mean like you could actually see through it and like you could see my fingertips um i didn't like that i thought it was going to be more uh in line with like a overhead projector like at a school or at you know a business something that pulls down that's uh, a real stiff material but this is basically a sheet um, there's people that actually do cool things with these so this one's a 200 inch uh, screen but they use these rubber grommets and then they'll uh, have a pvc frame right and then they'll take this and then hook it up to the pvc frame to project your stuff onto and then once you're done you just undo the pvc uh, fittings and then you could take it all down okay so the first thing i noticed when purchasing this is the lens was dirty um, i don't know if that was because it was used or not uh, also you have an adjustable foot right here that you could screw out so that way you could change it the angle of the projection um, you could also take this all the way out and mount a tripod onto it uh, but it's going to be way up here so there's going to be a lot of weight that's going to be leveraged out on your tripod uh, so don't put your hands on it uh, pressing it down to like push the play button use the remote so that way it doesn't break off and then you screw up your stuff okay so first of all you power it up of course so i'm going to power it up for you guys and then play play one of my youtube videos that i have already pre uh set okay so first things you see that pops up is the screen and of course you got to get it in focus up close viewings it does not like that so you got to be i want to say at least uh around eight feet away okay so um when moving this projector around like for instance you have the keystone which is this one as you can see it's adjusting the tilt angle on it um and then you have your focus which i'm all the way focused out and then as you zoom in um or rotate this to actually pan to zoom it it'll uh, fade out as far as the clarity uh, don't be alarmed if your stuff is blurry okay so what I did was I 
you have, of course, your movie. It's kind of like the Apple uh, setup. It's kind of weird how they did that. Um, but you have all these different choices. Uh, I kind of already went through them and uh, made it to the best of my ability to kind of hone in on its clarity. So what we'll do is we'll just play uh, my YouTube video. One thing I have to say is when you're looking for a, a movie projector, make sure it has a decent audio because if you forget your audio source, you won't be able to play audio. So at least make sure that whatever you decide to buy has a good audio uh, setup. There is other um, movie projectors that are in this price range that have like 6,000 reviews and are amazing. Uh, as far as the review count, four and a half stars. Uh, but the reason why I took a leap of faith on this one is because the color contrast ratio and that 3000 to one and uh, the lumen output that it claimed um, was just way better than those other ones. So don't always just buy the one that everyone else is buying. Make sure you do your research. Uh, so we'll, we'll just play my video here. I'll turn the volume down a little bit. Um. What is up YouTube? So today, what we're going over is the clam shelter. It's priced that it comes in at. So th this volume right now is currently at a, at 10. And as you can see, the clarity of the, the screen is pretty decent. Um, I mean, if it's in a dark room, I definitely uh, would recommend you buying this you know because uh, you're not out a lot of money and you got something decent um, so let me turn up the volume so this is at 20 this is at 30 45 55 uh, so this what audio YouTube? so today what we're going over is the clam shelter. is muffled right it's now because it's at the carpet it's in the, it's in the carpet but let me turn like it this. upright so that way you could hear it for uh, the price point and everything the materials it's made out of if it's constructed well and whether or not you should buy it so, so as you can see the volume is really substantial as far as um, how loud it gets for the price point that you pay. I mean, for this $100 price range, the, it comes with audio. A lot of the cheaper ones don't come with the audio option. So that's a plus. Uh, if you leave your speaker, don't have to worry about it. This is enough for a, a medium sized room for you actually to hear, um, you know, the audio. It's not the best sounding audio, but I mean, hey, if you forget your speaker, at least you have a backup, right? The one thing I thought was a little bit weird is they didn't include a auxiliary uh, jack to uh, hook up an external speaker, but they included uh, this weird one, the one that has the old school RCA jacks to the audio, which I thought was kind of weird. Okay, so the verdict. Um, would I buy? Would I pass? Should you buy it? Uh, I definitely would say that this is well worth the purchase uh, as far as the features it comes with compared to all the other ones at this price point uh, the audio setup is great you know for what you pay i mean you get what you pay for basically uh, as far as what i need it for it's not going to work i need it for outside it's just not bright enough i don't know if uh, i'll find one at that price point that's bright enough i'll keep the search on but it is what it is it's an indoor movie projector um would i pick it up as far as an indoor projector yeah i mean using it for a house indoors your bedroom you know get togethers what have you it's great i mean the colors there for that price it's amazing can't go wrong uh can't complain with that uh would i look at the other ones in this price point no i mean 
I'm satisfied with this one for the price point and what you get. It's a great little projector. It's lightweight and it does what it's supposed to. Uh, should you buy it? So if you're using it for the indoors only and you know, like you have a, a like a party or whatever and you're going to project a movie, yeah, definitely. If you decide to go camping, um, yeah, you could pick this up and use it. The only issue is you cannot project it in the daytime or, you know, during sunset. It has to be in complete darkness and this will work out for you. Uh, would I purchase that sheet setup again? No, I would not. Um, I would, I like to uh, look for one that's actually a little bit thicker, like a canvas material or uh, it's some type of canvas uh, stuff, something like that. Um, and then put it on like a PVC frame because if you're trying to be portable with this stuff, you definitely want to look into that lightweight, um, easy breakdown type of setup. So I would definitely look into a PVC setup where you have like a few 90s and then you make your little tripod at the bottom as far as the legs and then you could break it all down and uh, take it with you. And then uh, storage would be easy. And then the price point on making one of those out of PVC will probably cost you under 20 bucks to be honest. I mean, the PVC pipe isn't too expensive. It's a couple bucks for a, a eight foot stick and then you have your fittings that are a few cents here and there depending on how um, cool you want to make it and how small you want it to break down will be determined by um, So that's going to complete today's video. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciate it. If you want to see content like this and other content I'll be posting in the future, definitely consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.